Hi uh, YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of True Blood Season 5, Episode 3. It was another good episode, and um, I'll say these last two episodes have done something that I didn't think they would do at all this season, that I thought they would never really be able to do again, and that is balance everything. They have actually found a way, at least for these last two episodes, to take the huge group of characters and balance it. They To, to figure out that, you know take the small characters and throw them in with the, you know, the large characters instead of giving, you know, the, like, the A, a characters instead of giving them their own, you know, shit to do. Um, meaning like their own, like, far-off storyline. Um, like, yeah, okay, now we saw, you know, for example, Terry is going off uh, with Patrick, not me, again, um, you know, spoke to Arlene about it, but that was all we saw of him. We didn't have to see anything, you know, any more of it this week. They're kind of going to, you know, leave that off, at least. So if that, you know, storyline takes all season to go, at least it looks like they're going to, you know, not spend, you know, five, ten minutes on it every single week, like they did last year with, you know, Arlene and the baby and everything like that. Um, Hoyt was in the episode for maybe a minute, um, and something interesting is going on with him, so it looks like, you know, when we get to something interesting on his storyline, then we'll see more of him. Um... Again, Andy is walking around the town investigating Debrie, De, uh, Debbie's murder. So Andy is interacting with everybody. Instead of doing his own... Well, while doing his own thing, he's interacting with everyone. So it feels less, less you know, kind of like off. Plus, Jason is going to be investigating it too, being, you know, a police officer. Um, and the other thing is that scenes that seemed pointless, at least at the start, um, actually had more of a point, at least this week. Example is Jason... Uh, who, you know, met with, like, his old teacher, I guess, that pretty much taught him everything, you know, he knows pretty much about sex and everything like that, so, and, you know, continued the season's theme of looking back into your past and everything. Um, at first, the scene was like, alright, Jason, again, you know, doing this wasn't surprising, kind of eye-rolling. It was a dick thing for him to do, completely. Um, if you think about it, you know, really shouldn't endear you any more to the character than I think the show wanted you to. Um, but at least, you know, at least it was about something. At least, you know, it wasn't like a one-off thing, because he felt awful about it later, and then maybe, you know, he's really going to fin finally grow up. And again, the stuff with Jessica, you know, Jessica was doing frat parties the first two weeks, and it was kind of like, you know, she's just going to be doing this all season because they don't know what to do with her. Instead, this week she met a fairy, but they left that off, you know, for future weeks that they'll get to, and they had her talk with Jason and just, like, talk with him you know, there was actually a little more depth to it and, you know, made me like Jessica even more and everything like that, so, you know, good stuff. Um, uh, with that, and then, let me, wait, let me think. Also, Steve Newland, who, again, I didn't want Jessica and Newland just to be fighting over Jason all season. I did not really want that to be a storyline. It's not. Newland is, you know, they're using Newland as the, uh, the spokesperson over Ned Flanagan. So, again, like, they're utilizing their huge, huge cast in a way that benefits the show. And it's been a detriment to the show the past couple of seasons. They've been able, again, for these last two episodes, we'll see. I mean, everything can go tits up, but for now, it's working. And I, I'm fucking stunned that they've been able to do this these last two weeks. I didn't think they'd be able to do it at all. Um, yeah, all right, so now on to the, the main... Uh, stuff in the episode. Um, I guess I'll start with Bill and Eric. Um, they, again, it was a lot of fun seeing everything they do. The scene where Bill is um, seduced by, I can't remember her name, I thought that went on a, t a little too long. And again, I thought it was going to be kind of pointless, but then sh when she did it with uh, with Eric, I was like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Um, plus, everything with the, you know, the vampire, the the council, and everything like that was all is awesome. Christopher Maloney, uh, I love how he gets so angry. Um, like he'll say like two lines of dialogue, and then he just starts yelling or cursing because uh, he's just constantly on edge. Um, so yeah, so I'm you know intrigued to see where that's going. Bill and Eric having that you know the, the cross strapped to their chest, you know, puts them in you know permanent danger for the season. Again, we know they're not going to kill them off, but at least it's something. Uh, I don't quite know what's going on with Nora um, or what they're really going to do with her yet. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about Bill and Eric being thrown back into Bonton already. I kind of wanted to see them on the road for most of the season. But maybe that goes against what 
my original problem with the show is, is everyone being, you know, dispersed. This will bring them back into the fold with everyone at Bon Ton and stuff, and stuff going on there. Um, which would be good. I just don't want to see them, I don't want to see the Bill Eric Sookie show. You know, that's played out, you know, which I hope they don't do. Um, also, I'm glad Sookie was able to use her, you know, uh, her little fairy power and her, you know, her mind reading skills this episode. Um, just like smartly, um, and it, it felt less convenient than it has in the past. Also, uh, let's see. Before I get the Tara, which I will get to, um, I guess Suki, you know, and Alice and Debbie's parents and everything like that. Um, them finding out Alice gonna, you know, forgive her. You see it in the preview next week that you know. He's just going to be calmly talking to her. Like she's going to be with him this season. Um, pretty much is where they're going. Uh, that's fine. I mean, he, I never really found him that particularly interesting, but let's see what they can do with him. Um, I love that they everyone was at Merlot's also. Like, you know, having Lafayette, uh, Arlene, Sam, Sookie, Holly, Andy, you know, everyone there was just actually nice to see. It felt a little like old school from like season one kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I was happy we didn't see Luna this episode. I mean, I, and Luna's gorgeous, but I mean, that's what I'm talking about. We didn't need to see her this episode. Season four, she would have been in this episode for like five minutes, would have came and talked to Sam and whatever. Didn't need to see it. And we didn't. So good. Um, we got... Let's see, what else? Uh, didn't see Russell again, which is fine. We didn't have to. He's recovering. Uh, we got Pam's flashbacks turning out how she became a vampire. Um, also thrown in Bill and nice to see Lorena again there. Um, and I liked how, you know, Pam kind of became a vampire, that she slid her wrist. It was something different, something you didn't expect to see. I was like, oh, okay, you know. Wasn't the greatest thing, but it worked. It was fine. You could see why Eric wanted to do it. Um... And the whole idea of him talking about, you know, what it means to be a maker and everything like that, obviously, you know, worked along with what she was feeling at the end of the episode, which was funny. And I, I'm interested, I'm so glad they're giving her more, that was one of the complaints last season, that she didn't get enough screen time. Um, and she's just a fun character. They've already given her a lot this season, and they're going uh, to continue to, which I like. Um, also, Lafayette, you know still feeling, you know, still, like, kind of distraught about everything that's happened to him, yet he's still funny. Um, they've been able to find the balance with that, which I like. Also, they're doing the whole demon thing with him. They're advancing on that. They're doing a really good job of advancing storylines, you know, slowly, um, but, you know, it just, just doesn't feel like a mess. Uh, it doesn't, didn't feel like it was plodding along to me like it did last season. Uh... Let's see what else before I get to I'll get to Tara last. I'm just trying to think because Tara is something I want to get to. Let's see. Was that it? Was that the only thing going on? Is that everything? Hold on, I'm trying to think if there was something else. I don't think there was. All right. Anyway, so we'll just get to Tara. I haven't enjoyed Tara on the show more than I did this last episode. Um, I liked her a lot the first season, but you know. I like I said at the beginning of the season, I wanted her to be killed off, not for the sake that I didn't like the character, for the sake that they don't kill anyone off. Um, I was so happy with the way she acted in this episode. It was a lot of fun, and it was sad, and it look and it's interesting. She's uh, like a complete wild card, which is a lot of fun. Um, uh, the whole vampire vision, you know, was was pretty good. Um, the I liked her going to Sam as kind of like a safe place. Uh, I didn't think she'd talk to Sam at all this season. Um, and I didn't think Sookie would be working at Merlot's at all this season, but there they were. And just everything like that. So it was nice to see everyone, again, just like grouped in. Um, yeah, I really can't wait to see where they go with her. I mean, obviously, Pam's going to, you know, try to be uh, a maker and try to, you know, calm her down. Uh, but even so... Uh, it's going to be fun to see where all this goes. Um, I hope it's going to be fun. 
But, uh, yeah, that's, I think, all I really got for this one. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to next week. Uh, I hope they can keep this going. I really hope they can keep this going. Uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know if I missed anything, left anything out. Um, and if I did, I'll maybe comment it on in the, uh, in the comments and stuff like that. But, uh, alright. Take care, guys. Uh, oh, Rob will be back with me next week reviewing the episode... So, um, if anyone's missed him for the last two weeks, he'll be back with me next week, and, uh, we'll have fun with that one. But, uh, until then, adios!